some problems. Free spots, free spots, free spots. Up to fifth because of the problems with, I'm guessing, Jeff Gordon. Hey gearheads and welcome on back in to NASCAR Thunder 2003 career mode. I'm Alan Bailey. We're chugging along, man. I got a lot of recording done uh, this Sunday before Turkey Day, so uh, not sure when this one's being posted, but it's in the tank, so it's all good. Still rocking the My Hero shirt. Yeah, I love it. Uh, we are in really the tail end of our rookie season. We've only got nine races to go. Uh, this is a big race for us because the last time we were at New Hampshire, we actually picked up the victory. So going back to New Hampshire, I expect a victory again. Uh, and we're taking our best car out there to kind of secure a victory, hopefully. Uh, but I'll give you a look at what's going on with the standings. Nope. Actually, well, yeah, we got New Hampshire and Dover in this video. In the next one, we'll have Kansas and Dega. Then out to Charlotte, a.k.a. Lowe's. Then Martinsville. Then we head out to Atlanta and The Rock, North Carolina, and Phoenix before wrapping everything up out at Phoenix. Uh, or at Homestead, I should say. Now, checking the standings, we are 22nd. Uh, we're closing in on Texas Terry Labonte for 21st. Johnny Benson has a nice little solid lead in 20th. Mikey, 18th and Mayfield. And let's actually jump all the way up to the top of the charts. Dale Jarrett still leading Dale Jr., NASCAR Jesus himself, by 369 points. Nice. That's about a race and a half, give or take. So big, big meaty lead right there for, for Mr. Jared. Uh, Mark Martin third, Bobby Labonte fourth, Sterling Marlin fifth. Then you got Harvick, Stewart, Gordon, Rudd, and Newman rounding out the top 10. Uh, Burton and Johnson also mixed in there as well. As far as our cars are concerned, what's going on in the garage R&D department? Uh, we will have engine power two coming our way in about four races. Uh, as far as the cars are concerned, um, we do have uh, a build on uh, engine number six coming in three races. We do have an overhaul on engine number two in a race. Then in the chassis department, we do have a brand new one coming our way in two races and an overhaul after this next race. Um, as far as the cars are concerned, I'll show you our inventory. We have car four, which is what we're taking out there right now. Best piece overall, 56. And car number six, that's a little worn, let's just say, at a 53%. So, you know, not too shabby so far, but, you know, there's a lot of room for improvement with this team. If you missed the last video, check that one out before you check this one out. Spoiler alert, we gave up a victory. I'm pissed. Yeah, we, we had a good run going at Richmond, and we, we had potentially a winning car, and I flubbed it coming to the white flag, and we finished third. So, yeah, I'm still a little salty about that one, not going to lie. It happened about 30 minutes ago for me, so I'm still I'm still a little er about that one, but it's okay. We'll, we'll bounce back. We're going out to New Hampshire, so I just want to make sure I'm actually taking the correct car. Um... Let's change car and make sure we're taking car number four, brand new car for us. Uh, so yeah, we're good there. So, hey man, all we have to do is finish 25th or better. And we've been doing that a lot lately, but lately there's been a weird trend where there's been no cautions. I think we're like in our sixth race straight with no cautions, seventh with this one. So if it goes caution free, so I don't know. We're going to see if we can actually, you know, make it through this race, hopefully with a victory out at New Hampshire. If you haven't already, mash the subscribe button. Come on back for the next one. New Hampshire, let's go. Welcome to the New Hampshire International Speedway in Loudoun for today's NASCAR Winston Cup race, the New Hampshire 300. What can you tell us about Loudoun? Well, gear selection is everything here at New Hampshire. Very important to be able to accelerate out of these tight corners. The danger is picking too low of a gear and hitting the top end too early on the straights and blowing an engine. The Nikon car had a great run in qualifying this week. You're right, Joe, and what a welcome relief this must be. This team has been working hard all year, but it seems they can never catch a break in qualifying. This time, they're starting up front. Ryan Newman hasn't made much of a move in the points so far. Yeah, those guys have been working so hard this year. It's a shame it doesn't really show in points. Just seems they can't keep that car out of trouble on race day. Maybe their luck will change today. 
Scott Wimmer is having some trouble in the points this year. And of course, nobody wants to be on the bottom of that points list. He'll have to work extra hard to pick up spots. Not an easy task to dig yourself out of a hole in this series. Buddy, up on the pole. Let's go for win number two, gearheads. See how we do out here. Car's good, man. I honestly thought I screwed up qualifying, but uh, obviously I did not. Six turn, turn, turn. Six fastest on the first qualifying lap and fastest in the second, so. And you can see we're. Uh, come on, Sterling. Just. You know, or kick me to the high side, lap one. That's cool, Sterling. Oh, hey, Tony. Didn't see you there. We're a snug tighter than I want her to be, so we're going to loosen her up on, on that first pit stop. But we're holding on to this one for now. Oh, that was my lane. Okay. Okay, we're going to settle down now. I'm a bottom feeder, obviously, and I take it down here, which is legal at this track. You can get down there on the apron, and there's a lot of speed down there, so you can see we got to cut some ground through there. We're going to do it again right here. Hello. Oh. Yep. I, I pushed a little harder than I wanted to, but it's all good. New leader. We clear him. Yeah, you can see we're coming up on the halfway point, and, and we're not pulling away. This car is just super-duper tight for my liking. Uh, come on. Come on. There we go. She just doesn't want to rotate from from center off, and that's where you need it to rotate. So we're gonna we're gonna make some adjustments here. Come on, we're gonna make some adjustments on our only pit stop. You can see how bad she's plowing right there. Oh, hey Tony, hey Tony, my bad, Tony, my bad. June bug, Dale bug. I was gonna pit this time, but I can't up here. Come on, rotate. Nice. Pitting right at the halfway point from the lead. We're going to go ahead and fix all that damage, but we also are going to get four freshies, two cans of 76 race fuel, and we're also going to go ahead and drop the tire pressure all the way around, and we're going to drop the wedge half around. Not a significant adjustment. Hopefully that won't come back and bite us, but... Fix the damage, there we go. Not a great stop, but that's okay. Clean stop. Ah, uh, Kurt. Get out of the way, Kurt. Kurt. Oh, we got a couple that are down here on the apron slow. We're not sure what's going on there. Here's Tony. Uh, outside, outside. There we go. I'll take that from you. New leader, us. So we cycle back out to the lead. We got 10, coming to 10 to go this time by. We are good on fuel. We just got to keep this thing green, keep this thing out in front. Dale and Dale show once again. Tony and Jeff are up here too. Oh, 
So Dale got around us and he's pulling away a little bit, man. Trying to just run my race, see if we can run him down here, but I don't know. Yeah, hold him up, Robbie. Hold him up, Robbie. Hold him up, Robbie. Hold him up, Robbie. Uh, Robbie, you suck. Do what you got, it'll win in the Cup Series. New leader, us, for now. We got three more laps. Turn car to Oh, caution. Oh no 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 That's the race. One bad turn, we lose it. Son of a Tony Stewart crashes off of our bumper? I don't know what that was. He just loses it on his own. Stewart loses it on his own. And that's the race. Damn it! Led the most laps and Harvick gets around us on... Uh, the drivers didn't spend much time behind that Pontiac pace car today. Well, you're right, but that just makes for a better race in my opinion. It really makes the better drivers stand out that much more. We hope you enjoyed today's race as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. Until next time, this is Joe Moore and Barney Hall signing off. Well, with that run, we jump up to 20th in the points. Um, yeah, man. <laughs> Third two weeks ago, one ra uh, two races ago, and second in the last race. I, I doubt we're going to win it over, but man, the last two weeks we could have had three wins total for the career but instead we only have the one so but we did pick up a pole so you know there's that and our sixth top five of the season so we're starting to get a little bit better and you could see our average start and finish getting better too so you know we're overall i'm happy with where the team is we're we're getting better i feel like the cars could be a whole heck of a lot better and we're working on that too but man i it, it bums you out when you come that close to winning twice in a row it's just uh but yeah we're gonna head out to dover kansas and dega in the next video and we got some stuff cooking in the garage we'll show it to you in the next episode so you're gonna have to mash that subscribe button in order to come back and check it out in the next video but you can see we have uh, 800,000 in the account so that's not too shabby either for bailey autosport here so dover we dnf last time we were at dover so let's see what we could do whoa Oh, we're missing some sponsors, actually. So let's go check some some sponsors, actually. You can see we have a sponsor, we have a sponsor, we have a sponsor, but we need a team and drivers. So let's look at these guys. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and whoever has the most money, which are these guys right here. So, Windtail, welcome aboard. And... 22 for Aaron's rants. I mean, do I want All Pro or Nikon back? Uh, they have more prestige, Nikon does. So um, we'll go with, with Nikon because we want better, more well paid sponsors for the next one. So. Uh, Ni I, I mean, I'm tempted for Aaron's rents, but I don't I don't want no Mike, Michael Waltrip sponsor on this car, you know. Um, and it's between these two. All Pro's cool, but Nikon is already a sponsor and their prestige is better. So, welcome aboard. And it kind of fits the motif of the car a little bit better too. So, 
you could see the number 56 Nikon Windcraft Chevy uh, with the Nikon in the, I don't know, whatever deer sponsor that is right there. So it's all good. Um, and those were sponsorship expirations, not they didn't kick us or anything. So nice little sponsor upgrade for us. That That's nice. But uh, yeah, Dover. Let's go Dover. We're live at Dover International Speedway for the MBNA America 400, brought to you by MRN. This is a tough track, both physically and mentally. What is it the drivers struggle with so much here, Barney? This place has got high bank concrete corners that can be really tricky for some drivers. You've got to always be thinking ahead in this race and planning your passes well. Otherwise, you may quickly find yourself in the wall. Kevin Harvick accomplished an incredible feat in 2001. He won the Bush Series Championship while competing full-time on the Winston Cup circuit. To race all those miles and be as good as he was is simply amazing. I'm sure the extra track time helped him, but you just get tired racing like that every weekend. The Nikon car wants to get things started off on the right foot for his new sponsors. I don't think there was ever any doubt about them re-signing a deal. Wouldn't surprise me if that deal lasts for many, many years. Frank Kimmel looks to turn his luck around in this race. And trust me, it hasn't been for the lack of effort. Those guys have been working hard all season. Maybe they can right the ship with a good finish here. For the land of the free and the home of the brave. Gentlemen. Cars okay, uh, but it's Dover, so let's see if we can survive this monster. Hey, Johnny. Bye, Johnny. Car's still slow. Power, that power upgrade could not come quick enough. Hey, Johnny, again. And I got to get out of the throttle so I don't get into that wall. You got the spot, Johnny. You happy? Yeah, car's okay. It's not, it's just we're slow. That's all it boils down to. We're, mm, and we're a little plowy. Uh, be smart about this. Or just plow, you know, car. That works too. Nice little runoff, though. We'll get a nose up underneath this 26 car. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, me too. Oh, come on, car. Hey, Terry. We got some speed in it. It's just... Getting around these cars, surviving Dover. That's all we're gonna try to do here. Oh, nice little run right there. Come on, Ken. R.I.P. M&M's, as far as I'm concerned. M&M's is dead to me. We lost the 18 car and Kyle Busch in the 18 car, so M&M's is dead to me. Uh-oh, problems. Some problems. Free spots, free spots, free spots. Up to fifth because of the problems with, I'm guessing, Jeff Gordon. Six, but still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here comes the spots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, okay. I crowded you. That was fair. So we've kind of settled outside the top uh, ten right here. We're, mm, yeah, you can see we're just plowing. But we're, we're kind of holding on, kind of, waiting for that pit stop. Honestly, just th this is not our best car. We're saving our best car for a couple of races coming up. Kurt, coming up. So we're, we're just kind of hanging out just inside the top 15. So car setup is garbage, and that's why the time is off, guys. So just calm down. Yeah, those those hits have me nervous. Those have me nervous. And yes, crew chief, I would love it if you came out here and you drove this slow car. So we're 15th. 
Yeah, sorry, Tony. 16th as pit stops are starting. So honestly, if this is a top 20 day, I'm happy with that because that's, that's kind of where we are right now with this car. It's just awful. Pit stop time for tires and fuel. Um, yeah, we're going down on the air pressure and down on the wedge, so we're, we're throwing some YOLOs at it. We're not going to finish top 20 with what we got, so it's like, okay, might as well. Might as well try some stuff here. Um, yeah, this, honestly, this normally has the making of an early DNF race with how bad we are, but hopefully we'll be able to keep it uh, off the wall. Yeah, whoa. We're good. So 26. We'll see if we get some more spots here. So it looks like we have cycled back out to 20th. Uh, but you can see the leader is is at the start finish line now. So we potentially could lose a lap before this thing's over. But I mean, car's better, you know. But it's still pretty sluggish. Um, and that's just oh, free spot for us. Whoever's blowed up. That's Kenseth, and I don't think that was... No, that was not. Oh, yeah, it was, actually. I'll take the free spot. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Smokey. Somebody got into the wall, but uh, it's all good. It actually brought these guys back to us pretty nicely, so... Hey, at least there's that. Hey, Mikey. Mikey's for position. I don't think either one of these guys are... Good ish. Oh, yipes. Oh, we're in the wall. Oh, Mikey. Sorry, not sorry, Mikey. I got a rivalry with Michael Waltrip kind of formed because he, he took us out at my home race at. Uh, auto club a few races back earlier in the season so white flag for us the checkered flag right there for the leader but i mean we got a boatload of spots right here on the table for us so we're going to try to see if we can pick up one or two ha that's funny ah oh, man uh 16th, I think. That was a tough one, but hey, Sterling got the victory. Good for him. Yeah, we almost had a few spots. What an exciting finish. Yeah, watching that last lap, I thought we were going to have a photo finish. That was close. Unfortunately, we're out of time for now. Thanks for joining us. Next up is Kansas. $1.2 million in the bank account. Um, yeah, so, so I'm still, you know, we gave up two wins in the last two videos and that's, that's frustrating, but this is fine. This is, this is fine. This is fine. So it's all, it's all good, man. We're going to try to keep on chugging away at, uh, developing this car, making it better. And 1.2 million is definitely going to help. And by the end of this season, when we renew sponsors, we're going to have a lot more money coming in. So it should be easier to upgrade the car, hopefully, God willing. But we'll have to wait and see. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, mash the subscribe button. Come on back for the next one. We're chugging along, man. We're having some fun here in uh, NASCAR Thunder 03. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below for NASCAR Thunder 2003 Career Mode. I'm Alan Bailey. We'll see you out at the track. Bye, gearheads.